So I was in school and I had the interest of learning photography. So I took a few online courses um, from Shaw Academy and a few other places. I watched a couple of YouTube videos and then I saved towards a camera. Um, I got a camera and then I started shooting and friends would call me, oh, um, we have this event, can you come and shoot for us and I'll go. I, was, uh, I went for a shoot in the evening, I got back after 11, I was walking to the hostel and then I got robbed. So I didn't have the gear anymore. So I was saving towards a new, buying a new gear, set of gear. Then in the process, um, I bought a few things with 500 cities, that was how I started. Then a couple of friends came and they said, I want to borrow your gear for a shoot. And I said, no, I can't borrow it. I can't lend it to you. But if you want to buy it, I could sell it to you at this price. And then they bought it. So I, 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 was, I was thinking, so if they're able to buy my gear and I sold it for a slightly higher price, I was able to get some money. Why don't I buy the same things and sell to other people who may be interested? And that's how it all began for Shika, who now has a dream of owning Ghana's number one audiovisual hub. Currently a proud owner of Shikakope, a small shop offering a variety of equipment ranging from camera protective gear to tripod stands. Although her father gave her a boost in her business by providing her office space and the seed capital, Shika tells me that the journey so far has not been easy. Efforts to get financial support from banks have proven futile. The banks that I have visited, um, although they advertise that they are looking out for entrepreneurs, in reality I think they are looking out for themselves and what profit they can gain from people. But I think it would be good if there are opportunities that are open for people like myself who have just finished school and are looking to start something that will go a long way to have a lot of people involved and employed. For instance, we are three girls here and I've provided employment for myself and two other people. So if, I mean, if I'm given the funding, I'm sure I could employ more people and then we could expand and have a business that can support even the government with tax and other um, contributions here. Yeah. Lost with no idea on how to start her business, she can turn to the internet for help. I'm, I'm, I'm an introvert. I spend most of my time on my computer and it's really paid off because every time I spend on my computer, I learn something new. Even before I started the business, like I said, I learned photography online. I learned um, how to negotiate and other things online. They are online schools and classes for all that. And I met most of my people online, my suppliers. And then sometimes you just have to be bold and talk to them. Like you see a company, you just call them, look, I want to be a supplier. This is what I have to offer. And surprisingly, they just accept you because then they see you Google Chicago and then you see a lot of things online. And then so they want to liaise with you because of what they have seen you do and what other people are saying about you. So mostly, sometimes some of the brands, I didn't even approach them. They approached me. So oh, you have the space now and you tell me that you intend to expand the business. Uh, tell me more about that. Okay, so yes, I have the space now. I intend to expand. Um, for instance, this room, let's, let's, this room would be used as a training hub for... So as you can see, we have a space. We can set up a studio here, all around here. And we can use it alternatively as a training hub for people who want to train on photography and videography for short courses that are going to be free and workshops that are going to be sponsored by Chicago and other brands. Um, we're looking at getting fans to furnish the place and then also trying to expand to reach other people because and also get a space outside of the space because coming here is difficult like you mentioned so that we can have some a shop or something in town. She's still using the internet to her advantage as she's soon to launch a website where customers can purchase online. For now, customers can walk into the shop and make a purchase. Being a sole distributor for international brands such as Aperture, Magmod, Easy Cover, Lenscoat and many more, Shika's number one headache is the outrageous cost of importing her goods. I've not grown to the sea freight yet. Mostly we do air freight. And the challenge with that is that it's expensive and then you can't ship batteries because I mean, um, they say it might explode in the plane. So if there are items that um, need to have batteries, you need to find someone who is in that country coming. If not, you'd have to 
find somewhere else. Being a lady in this male-dominated industry, she says she is sometimes looked down upon in her business. However, this will not stop Shika from following her desire. And people don't really respect that I'm a woman. That's one thing. Like it's, it looks like a minor challenge, but it's, it really bothers me. People don't respect that you're a woman and you're in the field. Most of the time, people are asking, "Why don't you want to do something else? Is this what you want to do forever?" I mean, is it something you're just doing to get money and then move on to something else? But then I'm like, no, this is what I want to do. Um, because I went for it, they've learned to accommodate and are even proud of what I've been able to achieve with the little I had.